फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द सेशंस कोर्ट हैज कन्विक्टेड द अपीलांट एक्यूज फॉर द ऑफेंसेस पनिशेबल अंडर सेक्शंस 302 एंड 201 ऑफ द इंडियन पेनल कोड वाइड द जजमेंट डेटेड 13th मार्च 1995 ही हैज बीन सेंटेंस्ड टू अंडरगो लाइफ इंप्रिजनमेंट द डिसीजन ऑफ द सेशंस कोर्ट हैज बीन कंफर्मड बाय द हाई कोर्ट बाय द इंप्यून्ड जजमेंट एंड ऑर्डर डेटेड 5th december 2017 the case is based on circumstantial evidence the case of the prosecution will have to be briefly stated the appellant and deceased sushil dhar dubey were related and were residents of village amgaon they used to go together to drink liquor on 29 september 1993 in the evening around 7 the pilant went to the house of the deceased and asked the deceased to accompany him to drink liquor they both went to the house of pw2 ramdas in village khohaka they consumed liquor in pw2's house and they left after consuming the liquor nobody saw the deceased alive thereafter and his dead body was found on the morning of 30th September 1993 on the road leading to village Bijholi Dar Amgaon the prosecution case is based on circumstantial evidence the circumstances are recovery of the knife at the instance of the appellant which is the instrument of assault on the deceased last seen together medical opinion on the injury sustained by the deceased and cause of death and habit of the deceased of drinking liquor with the appellant learned senior counsel appearing for the appellant has taken us through the notes of evidence of material prosecution witnesses and other documents on record of the trial court his submission is that last seen together is a very weak circumstance as there is evidence on record to show that the pilant and the deceased were related very often they used to consume liquor together he submitted that the recovery of the knife at the pilant's instance had not been proved he submitted that even the existence of motive has not been pleaded and proved by the prosecution he submitted that if the oral evidence of pw7 virendra dhar divedi and pw15 dr mahindra kumar ahirwal is considered together the theory that the death occurred due to an accident of motorcycle can not be ruled out therefore the benefit of the doubt must be extended to the appellant he submitted that every circumstance constituting a chain of circumstances has not been established the learned counsel appearing for the state supported the impugned judgment she submitted that the dead body of the deceased was found within a few hours from the time at which the appellant and the deceased were last seen together she submitted that recovery of the weapon used by the appellant to attack the deceased had been duly proved and all circumstances forming part of the chain of circumstances have been established this case is based on circumstantial evidence the law governing cases involving circumstantial evidence is no longer res integra paragraph 153 of the decision of this court in the case of sharad birdi chand sarda versus state of maharashtra lays down the well settled principles paragraph 153 reads thus a close analysis of this decision would show that the following conditions must be fulfilled before a case against an accused can be said to be fully established the circumstances from which the conclusion of guilt is to be drawn should be fully established 
it may be noted here that this court indicated that the circumstances concerned must or should and note may be established stop